All right, ladies and gentlemen, Lengo here with another tutorial. In this video, we're gonna use the chat GPT to program a Raspberry Pi Pico. So we're gonna do simple examples to try to test how everything works and see if there's some errors, if we can, of course, stop, you know, learning programming, which is a bad thing, and, so, and such kind of things. So let's go. You can see that the setup that we have right here is a Pi Pico with um, three different LEDs hooked up to hooked to it. And this one, the red one is connected to pin 26, this one to pin 22, and this one to pin 21 respectively. Now we're gonna try to chat with the chat GPT, which is a generative pre-trained transformer AI to see if it's gonna give us what we need. I have three, two programs we needed to run and see how it works. Stay tuned. Now, of course, you need to head to the chat uh, openai.com or maybe pass to the um, openai website and reach here. You need to register and everything. Now, the you can see that right here we have new chat. We have some information We uh, and you can log out. And what we need right here is to chat with the chat GPT. So I'm going to type in here. First, let's ask the chat GPT itself what it is. I'm going to say who or you all right then press enter there it goes i am an ai language model developed by open ai designed to respond questions and provide helpful information mm -hmm. you can see it looks like someone is typing okay perfect so now let's get to the deal we needed to program this thing so the first program i needed to do is um just a Pi Pico Micro Micro Python program to blink. Sorry, to blink the oh, sorry, to blink the onboard LED. All right, boom, hit enter. So I'm asking it to blink this little onboard LED. Damn, it's giving me the codes. So uh, input time, perfect. From machine input pin, of course, because you can see that it knows already that the pin, the onboard LED right here is connected to pin 25. So uh, it's also giving me some instructions. This code imports time. All right, we have seen that. So I'm gonna copy this, go here in programming, then I'm gonna open Tony, used to program MicroPython. So I'm gonna paste in the codes. I'm gonna make sure that down here we have selected our Pi Pico. Then the next thing is to upload and see if what the chat GPT gave us is real. Damn, you can see that it's blinking it, which is right. Now let's go ahead to a little more advanced stuff. So I'm gonna go back here. So we can like that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna check uh, the second question. I'm gonna ask it now. Uh, let's try this. I'm say pi pico micro micro python program to turn to turn on diff, uh, to turn on three different LEDs three different LEDs from user inputs all right a red i need a red one a green one and a yellow so i'm gonna specify that the red is in pin 26 yellow in pin 21 and green is in pin 22, all right, boom. Let me hit enter and see what's going on. Okay, uh, you can see that it's rep responding. Here is a simple MicroPython program to turn on. Okay, uh huh. You can see input machine because that's where everything related to hardware is. Red is defined, of course, in pin 21. Yellow, oh my god, uh huh. So, um, uh, so, uh, let's red, okay. It's using an array a list yeah color input okay let me go ahead and copy this 
I'm gonna copy this, go back to my editor, Tony editor, paste this, and then I'm gonna run. So you can see that down here, it is asking me to enter a car. So I'm gonna add red, all right? Boom, the red one is on. So I'm gonna go ahead and type yellow. Bam, it's on. So I'm gonna type green. Boom, it's on. Wow, what can this thing do? So now, um, let me put something wrong. Let me say like, um, okay, they say purple. You can see that it's telling me that the color is invalid. Okay. So let's try maybe something else. Um, now, let's maybe try to simulate a traffic light using ChatGPT. Let's see if the ChatGPT can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and say um, a Pi Pico Micro Python program to simulate traffic lights, traffic lights. So using three LEDs, I have the green, I have the red, green and yellow. Uh, and the so I'm going to specify the pins. The red pin is in pin 26, green in pin 22, and yellow in pin 21. Let's ask for this and see what's okay. So now, here is an example of the Python code to simulate. Um, so, um, I don't think this is really what I need because this is in Python and I need to, I need this to be in MicroPython. Okay. But we're going to run this and see if, if it works. So, and maybe that's because I spelled wrong this PyPico micro, Py, yeah, yeah. So, um, it's going to be long and I guess, well, okay but it's gonna work anyway i guess so copy gonna go back to my tony remove these and paste try to run you can see that it can't work because it came in python and i needed it into micro python so i'm gonna ask it here change the above codes in micro Python, all right, because that's what we're using to, you know, control these Raspberry Pi Pico. So um, you can see that the error that happened is me typing wrong. I typed micro Python, which why I guess, which is why I guess it brought me Python codes. So um, yeah, micro Python typed right now. Then okay, so let's see. It's going to update the codes, I guess. Okay, so maybe let me go back here. Why it's okay? It's generating. Okay, so here's a cover and the micro Python code to simulate traffic lights using three LEDs. Okay, now this is micro Python. All right, this thing is awesome. Yeah, so it's putting the red pin in 26, the green pin in 21, of course. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yellow. Yeah, same thing. So let's say if you're trying to do so, um, I guess you can learn or maybe do anything with this chat GPT. So maybe in the next video, we're going to try to do some other sensors and actuators and see how this chat GPT works along with it. Until now, I think everything that I've asked this chat GPT to do was right, was done correctly and right. So, um, okay, I'm waiting for the response. Bam. So when you see, you can think, and you can notice down here that it's explaining that the machine library controls the GPIO pins. Um, 
the MicroPython device the pins are defined by so let's go ahead and copy this I'm gonna copy this go back to my Tony editor paste it in then run is it running so uh-huh we have the green the red Wow that is amazing so you can you can really validate that this is the simulation for traffic lights now ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this video and if you like this video don't forget to press that like button and if you hate this video of course smash that dislike button and if you like everything or maybe things that I do on this channel click on the subscribe button to help me get motivated and do some more videos late for later Thank you and peace.